Hi, this is John with Retirement Travelers. Bev and I will be spending the next several weeks here in Palm City, Florida at Harbor Ridge Yacht and Country Club. While we've been practicing social distancing and praying for all those that have been impacted both financially and physically from this awful coronavirus, we've still been trying to stay active. Our club here at Harbor Ridge has a wide variety of activities like a couple of championship golf courses, plenty of tennis courts, pools, and of course my favorite, great places to run. Today's run is a two mile sandy trail along the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. I'll try to show you some of my favorite sites along the way. So let's get started. This trail provides two miles of really scenic river views and there's lo always lots of activity going on on the water. And the trail itself has been newly renovated and the surface is hard packed shells which is absolutely great to be running on. Getting ready to make my first stop. We're going to be stopping at the uh, South Dock Marina. This is one of three docks here at Harbor Ridge. And this is also where we keep our boat. We're getting ready for stop number two. And it's a very special place along the trail that I like. This is the horizontal tree. It grows over top the trail. Put a little support there to give it some help but it's very, very unique and I uh, always enjoy going under the horizontal tree. Well, the tree was nice, but it's time to start running again. And here's a view of the clubhouse the riverside condos and the waterfront along with some of the boats we have here at the center dock. So whether you're into kayaking, paddleboard, sailing, there's something here for everyone at Harbor Ridge. This section always brings a smile to my face when I see the baby pineapples. We have several plants along this section of the trail near the clubhouse, and it's fun to watch them grow every spring. Here's the view from our backyard, and while we love to travel the world, it sure is nice to come back to this. And occasionally, if you look close, you'll get to see dolphins swimming in the river. And no trail run would be complete without a cameo from our two favorite stars, Annie and Ginger. John 
Sean and I are in the section of the orchid trail that we call it. Uh, the section of the trail is about 120 yards long and uh, it's, it's shaded. It's pretty perfect for planting orchids. And in South Florida, we can grow orchids here year round. It's really an awesome thing to be able to do. Here's a last look at a few of the nearly 30 orchids that Bev has been nurturing this past year. With the success we've had, we hope that next year will be even better. Okay, we're gonna cross the bridge and finish up the last section of this trail. I stepped off the trail for a minute to show you the third hole on the River Ridge course. The mangrove trees are not only interesting, but they're very important to the North St. Lucie Aquatic Preserve and the ecosystem by preventing erosion and absorbing storm surge. Hi, this is John with Retirement Traveler saying, wow, that was fun. Both walking and running are just great ways to stay in shape and maintain social distancing during these challenging times. I feel so blessed to have this trail right in my backyard that I can use at any time. So for everyone out there, stay safe, and I hope you'll join me on my next run. I did notice some coconuts on the ground here. It gives me an idea. As I always say, when life gives you lemons, make coconuts. Thanks for watching and now hit subscribe. We also appreciate your likes and your comments.